The, the main complaint is this one-year-old cat has not been uh, eating well and not not very active for the last three days. Uh. So, yet the cat is walking. Uh. So it's very unusual. So one of the one of the examinations should be the spinal area. And when you when 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 you depress, there's no pain. You say no pain means it's okay. Then you will see that uh, this part. So you define this part is TL. So most of it fell down, you see. Or well, somehow so in fact the whole lot. No? So the, the pain is quite quite a big area. Now the, the beautiful thing about this case is that it's not paralyzed. So this is the reflex. But you can see that it's right high, eh? it's a bit slow. A bit slow in coming up. The left one, eh? No, it's okay again. The front one should be okay. It's replacing reflex. It is okay. Eh? So overall, it's good news that he will recover. It's just that he has to be confined for about two to four weeks. No jumping up and down the bed, washing machine. I suspect he fell from some height and then hit his back. Well, other than that, he's a very nice cat. But as for the hair loss, it's hard to say what causes it. And one of them is stress. Other than that, he's okay. He's drinking. His urine is okay, there's no pain in the bladder or in the abdomen, no pain everywhere except this part. And it's quite a big area. So we suspect either a broom from him. Is there a broom in your house? A broom, uh, a broom you might have uh, drawn to this part, causing uh, intense pain. Okay, I can go home ready, yeah? Mm -hmm. So uh, painkiller given and then uh, we'll wait, wait and see. So I'll give some painkillers at home. And he should be eating after this injection. Okay, go home. Okay.